Caroline Bastet. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Right. Uh, welcome to Call of the World as well. Thank you. First day, have you been to Lincoln before? No, I don't think we have. Um, first time, yeah. For, this is the first um, outdoor festival that we've done. We did really? uh, well, the first outdoor no, no, festival no, no. this year. So we did um, we did Harrisick Fest last week. Yeah, so, yeah, and that yeah. Was good. I was there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. And um, yeah, this is the first outdoor festival we've done this year. Yeah, brilliant. So you're looking forward to it. Yeah. We've never played outside before. We have yeah, we played. Um, we played outside at Rock in the Bowl. We did okay. Rock in the Bowl, um, and I think that's the only one that we've done outside actually, because we did H R H. That's inside. What else have we done? We keep doing. Yeah, they're all inside. Do you prefer like indoor venues or you prefer outside? I don't mind I don't to be know. honest. I just want to be on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I was to say, yeah, because the, I think the first time I saw you was at last year and you won the um, Highway to Hell. Yes. Oh, well deserved as Thank well. You very that was much. brilliant night. Thank you. Yeah. So, what's come out of that? Have you got like. Uh... So, um, we, yeah, that night actually, my voice was really sore. Yeah. So, um, we, did, we did the first set and I was thinking, I really hope they don't ask us to go on and sing again in, if we win. If we win, we have to sing again. I'm going, I really hope we don't win because my voice ain't going to hack this. <laughs> and then we won, I had to go back on stage and I was like, it's not going to work. <laughs> but um, the performance must have been good enough because my voice, to me, I mean, as a singer, you can tell when your voice isn't 100% and, and to me, I'm going, this is not good enough. But it, it, it was good enough, so brilliant. <laughs> I know, I know, no, you were brilliant that night. It was, it was so, good. First time I said, oh yeah, they're going to win. Do you have any much. vocal? Do you, what do you do? Do you warm up? With your I vocals? do warm up. Um, I actually have singing, I still have singing lessons periodically just to kind of keep on top of things. Right. Um, I try and drink a lot of water. I cut out a lot of things. Like I cut out alcohol and coffee and stuff like that. All, it's really boring, really. Um, <laughs> but I just find that my voice like it is better when I do that yeah so um I'll just I'll not necessarily cut everything out but I just cut it down because I'm a bit of a like a caffeine addict I yeah, like yeah. coffee yeah. like I could probably have like five plus cups a day and uh, I just like the buzz and uh, I then have to go you can't have it so I'll like have like maybe one or two a week when I'm singing that's it yeah yeah so, what age did you uh, get into music? What age did you say, "Oh, I'm going to be a singer"? Then oh, I've always, I've always said that. I've never not going to be a singer. <laughs> um, this video was about three years old, you know, making yeah. everyone watch. I'm singing now. Listen to me, thank you. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I've always wanted to be a singer. Um, and I, it's finding your way. You don't necessarily. I mean, I've been, I've been round in a circle almost. Um, because I started off when I was 18, 19, I was in a rock band and it was a little bit heavier um, and we just did like pubs and stuff but the, the lads weren't, um, were young and wanted to party and stuff and I was, I was sort of, I suppose, young and still wanting to party so I didn't take it seriously yeah, right. um, and then I found that I just needed to sort of branch out and do it on my own which is what I've done. Um, yeah. So it started off as, I, I literally just went into the studio with a producer and I was like, right, I've got these songs, what are we going to do with them? Okay, there you go, that's the first EP. And it just evolves from there and you, you, you and grow and you, you move, don't you? And you move forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Experience. Yeah. 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 So um, that was 2019, wasn't Yes. It? Yeah, you got that. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Blackburn, that's where you come. Yeah, um, so I recorded the first EP with uh, Gareth Nuttall, who is um, producer at the Lounge Wigan in Wigan. So um, he's worked with people like Lottery Winners and Frank Turner and people like that. So um, he does a bit of a mix, but he's sort of, I've worked with him for four years and he he's grown with, well, he's grown with me. He's, he's um, he, he understands me. Yeah, yeah he yeah. understands what I kind of the sound that I'm going for, and he's he's very good. He's really really nice guy as well. So. Yeah. Well, since then, now we've got a bit of a change of lineup now. Haven't yes, you? we have. Yeah. yeah. So you've got um, 
Laurie from the hot so dam. We do. So Laurie from the hot dam and Matt from Bootyard Bandits um, are just depping at the moment. So they will be playing with us until we find uh, members that, are, that want to be more involved. Um, which is all good. It's actually really exciting for me. I'm like, oh my god, I'm working with these these top-notch musicians. I'm like, actually, I must be all right because they're actually <laughs> agreeing to do it. You know. <laughs> No, but it brings them something else to it, doesn't the devil to yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They, well, we we did. Uh, we've had one rehearsal and go. So I hope that it 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 you couldn't tell. I hope that it it was pulled off type deal. But um, well, if you pick top notch musicians, exactly. like that, then it's, it's going to work, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how's the music going? We got some new songs there. It's going good. So we just released um, a new single called Psycho. Yeah. And um, that came out, I think it was a... Tell me about Psycho then, what's the story behind Psycho? Oh, okay. So Psycho, um, it's actually, the, the, the line in it is, I'm claiming Psycho as mine. <laughs> and what that kind of is referring to is, I think there's a lot of people who have been in situations with, whether it be a relationship or a friendship, um, where, They've gone a little bit crazy, um, but the reason, when you step back and look at the situation, you look at it from a different perspective and you go, I'm not actually crazy and I probably wouldn't have acted like that had you not lied to me or whatever might have happened. And you're telling me that I'm crazy and you're telling me that I'm a psycho and it's like, well, all right then, fine, <laughs> fine. I'm claiming the word back and that is my word now. And uh, not necessarily, I actually wrote it with my sister um, uh, about uh, a few situations. Well, I think it just sounds like you're hitting the truth there. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's, yeah. It's, it's just, it is interesting um, how many people have actually been there. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, you go, yeah, yeah, most why, why am I acting like this? Because you are, well, I've been in situations where I go, why am I acting like that? I don't like act like that with anybody else. I don't talk like that to anyone else. Uh, but whoever it is might be lying or cheating on you or whatever it might be. <laughs> and then um, you go, you step back away from the situation and you go, oh, that, that's actually why, because I'm, I'm not like that with other people. So yeah. that's why that happened. And uh, but okay, you wanna you wanna yeah, say when you, once you step back, you see the whole picture, you see don't the whole you? Think? Picture, yeah. Look at all the penny drops. Yeah. It wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I suppose, I mean, I don't know what a hundred percent what it's been quite well received, but I don't know what oh, yeah, everybody yeah, thinks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I liked the phrase. I'm claiming psycho as mine, and I'm claiming it back. <laughs> I like to twist lyrics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what we've got up and coming, we've got a few festivals, haven't we? But we do. Yeah. Uh, we have Love Rocks down in Bournemouth. Um, we've got Firestorm in Manchester, uh, mid-August that one is. Um, Sav Fest down in Colville. Yeah, you've got SOS. We've got it? SOS in yeah. Manchester. Yeah, yeah we've got um, a Dementia Aware Festival oh, in... Yeah. Right. Just a Dave Evans. Yeah. 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 And... Um, We've got gigs scattered through throughout summer as well, um, and then we'll be looking for a tour. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. keep rolling it. Just keep rolling. Keep gigging. Keep moving. Keep putting the music out there. It's brilliant. It's been brilliant. Yeah, so far I've been following you like from when you win that competition and oh, it's been good. You. Yeah, thank you very good. much. Really, Basta only started gigging properly. Uh, I think I'd done 11 gigs, and when I say I'd done 11, I'd, I'd done a lot more, but under Basta, I'd done 11 gigs, I'd, I'd got the EP out, and I dragged in everybody that I could think of to try and play for me. I had my best mate's mum from the Sex Piss Dolls playing bass, I had uh, one of my mates, uh, Sam from Bigfoot, I dragged him in for a few oh, yeah. gigs, I dragged... Um, yeah, anybody I could get, and I was like, "We just please, I've got a gig, just please be played for me, thank you. Like, and it just, it was great in some ways because 
these musicians who had done it before were very uh, professional on it and they also to a certain extent gave me a bit of credibility because it was like oh she's got she's got that person playing with her um and it's just people that i've it wasn't like an intentional thing it's just friends that i've got that i've met over the past few years and um but it, it became that that what that wasn't sustainable to be doing that constantly yeah, yeah. because it would change it would be well, like somebody can't do this gig somebody can't do this gig and you'd just be you'd be dragging people in yeah. so that's kind of uh, one of the big reasons as to why I started getting more of a, a permanent line up, um, which now has changed, but that's okay. Um, and uh, yeah, we just we just keep rolling, and yeah, cool. it's really good to have Mac and Laurie on board. That's been brilliant so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Caroline, brilliant. It'd be Thank good to you see you later on, and all the best for what's coming up, and uh, good luck finding permanent member as well. <laughs> but good luck with all the festivals and I'm sure we'll see you again on the yeah, road somewhere. Definitely. Caroline, thank you. Well, thank you very Best much. Best <laughs>